Welcome to this tutorial on using Iron PDF as an alternative to PDF Sharp. When using PDF Sharp, we have to install three libraries. The first one is PDF Sharp, and it's the base library that we'll use in our project. The second library is System Drawing Common. This library will support using XFont, which we'll use in the project. And the third library, which we have to install, is System Test Encoding Code Pages. And you can install these libraries using the NuGet Package Manager. So let's move to the program CS file. Here we import some essential libraries, a package of PDF Sharp. Here we modify our text provider. We'll register our code pages library, which we installed before, and it'll help to use any font in the program. After that, we create a PDF document object and we'll add a page to the PDF document object. Now we get an X graphics object on the PDF page. We use X graphics for writing and drawing on PDF, and this is compulsory for PDF Sharp. We create an options variable to set the font options in our outcome PDF file. Then we create a variable of X font and set the font name and style. Then we draw a string using the draw string functions and set the position to the center of the page. Now set the file name in a variable and save the file using the save function. So let's run the project to see the program's outcome. The program completed its process, so let's see the generated PDF file. Here's the generated PDF file generated by PDF Sharp. You can see the file name at the top. PDF Sharp generated this PDF file. The text is the same as we wrote in the program and it's aligned in the center of the PDF file as instructed in the program. We can add more using the generate string method, but we would have to write all these lines of code to generate this small PDF file, and this is no simple task. We can add more graphics using the X graphics library, but X graphics library requires substantial knowledge and a lot of coding to design, so it's not suitable for developers to use. So now let's move towards using Iron PDF. For using Iron PDF, we only have to install the Iron PDF library from the NuGet package manager. Use the latest version of Iron PDF. Let's move to the code file. We import the Iron PDF library and system library at the top. After that, we create a renderer variable and assign Chrome renderer. We create a cover variable and add an HTML tagline to show on the cover page of the PDF file. And after creating the cover file, we set the first page number to two and it will select the first page as the cover and exclude it from the counting. Next, we use the render URL as PDF function to convert the web page to a PDF file. And at last, we merge both the cover page and the URL page in a single document using the merge function and save the file in our system. So let's run the project to see the outcome of the Iron PDF library. So the process has been completed and Iron PDF has generated a PDF file. So let's see the generated file. Here's the output file. It's the cover page that we created using the Iron PDF function. And we can add text and images using Iron PDF. And this is the web page, which is converted into PDF by Iron PDF. Iron PDF maintains the UI of the website perfectly. It retains the responsiveness of the web page according to the PDF page size. And you can see that the website is in responsive mode according to the page size. Iron PDF perfectly renders the colors and fonts without using any third-party library. So it's a comparison of basic functionality for PDF libraries. These functionalities are important for a PDF library for being impactful. Here you can see that Iron PDF supports all important aspects of the PDF library. PDF Sharp doesn't support HTML and CSS for PDF customization, which makes PDF customization very difficult for the developers. We hope you found this comparison helpful. And if you have any further questions, please do contact our support team. They're standing by ready to help.